What kind of housing or accommodation do you live in? Well, I live in a three-bedroom apartment with my family. Um, I've been living there for about eight years now. Well, the house is not that big, but it's the perfect size for the three of us to live comfortably in. What's the difference between where you're living now and where you have lived in the past? Um, well, there's not much difference between the two, except for one thing that's changed a lot, my room. Well, I bought lots of new furniture, including a king-size bed and a comfy chair. Plus, it has a large window that lets in abundant natural light. What do you dislike about your house? Well, I'm quite satisfied with where I live, but just one thing that I'm not really happy about is that it has a small kitchen. Well, not that it is that much small, but it has limited counter space, which is quite inconvenient when I'm cooking. Do you like singing? Why? Yes, I like singing very much. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do when I have some spare time. It really helps me to relieve my stress and I find it very enjoyable, you know. Um, I love all the acoustic guitar songs, so I often play guitar and sing along. Have you ever learned how to sing? Um, you mean taking singing classes or something? No, I've never formally learned how to sing. I just like to sing along with guitar. Um, I have learned how to play guitar and have practiced for a long time, but I've never learned and practiced singing. Who do you want to sing for? Well, to be honest, I don't want to sing for anyone because I'm not that good at singing. But if I have to choose one person who I want to sing for, that would be my friend Jun. Well, he likes K-pop as much as I do, so we sometimes go to the coin karaoke and sing together. Do you or your friends like using social media? Um, yes, most of my friends and I are very keen on using social media, especially Instagram. Well, time flies by whenever I check my Instagram feed, enjoying random posts and new updates. Well, I also share lots of thoughts and glimpses of my daily life on Instagram, which is so much fun. Do you think you or your friends use too much social media? Well, um, we use Instagram quite often, but I don't think we use it too much. I mean, I'm not obsessed with it. Um, it's just one of my favorite things to do when I have some spare time. Do you want to work in social media? Why? Well, interesting question. Well, I've never thought about it before, but um, let me think. Uh, yes, why not? I use all kinds of social media, which I find very enjoyable and interesting. Plus, I believe social media platforms have a bright future. So yeah, uh, yes, if I have a chance, I would like to give it a shot. Describe a person who likes to dress fashionably. Okay, um, I would like to talk about one of my favorite actresses, Gina, who is very fashionable. Well, um, she's very stylish. Yeah, I mean, she picks out the perfect outfit every time she gets dressed. Um, but that doesn't mean that she shops a lot or only wears designer clothing. I mean, um, she often upcycles old clothes or purposely buys them from environmentally friendly companies. Yeah, so she shows us that we can still be fashionable without having expensive luxury clothing. And that's what makes her stand out among all the other fashionable stars. Yeah, so I really like her. Um, I actually follow her on Instagram. Um, she shares lots of her thoughts and glimpses of her daily life on Instagram which I found very engaging. Um, nowadays, you know, most people on Instagram are very pretentious, but she's just being herself, sharing her daily life and her outfits. Um, so yeah, she's not only fashionable, but also very charming. 
I really like her. So when I received this cue card question, my all-time favorite actress Gina immediately came to mind. Do you think online shopping will replace in-store shopping in the future? Why? Um, as far as I'm concerned, most in-store shopping might be replaced by online shopping because it has many benefits. Um, firstly, it is much more convenient as you can shop from anywhere at any time using your phone. Additionally, there are always better deals available online, so it saves both money and time. Why is fashion very important to some people? Um, there are various reasons why fashion is significant to some people. Um, some individuals use clothing as a means of self-expression, while others wear stylish clothes to look good. So, for example, my friend only wears clothes from environmentally friendly brands to show his concern for environment. Are older people as fashionable as young people? Why? Um, it really depends on the individual. You know, while a lot of older people may not care much about fashion, some of them do and can be quite stylish. In fact, my grandmother is very fashionable. She owns lots of designer clothing, but she also upcycles her clothes. I think she's much more stylish than I am. Are women more fashionable than men? Why? Well, again, it really depends on the individual. Um, I know many stylish guys who can pick out the perfect outfit uh, every time they get dressed. So they can definitely be more fashionable than some women. Plus, there are a lot of male fashion designers, as you know. So in my opinion, Gender doesn't matter when it comes to being stylish. Tell me about your hometown. Where do you live? Um, I live in Seoul, which is the capital city of South Korea. And I grew up in Seoul, so it is my hometown as well. Yeah, I've been living there all my life. What's the most interesting part of your town? Um, there are plenty of interesting places and things to do in Seoul, but um, if I have to choose one, then I would say that it has lots of cool cafes and famous restaurants that are totally worth checking out. What kind of jobs do the people in your town do? Well, obviously, there are a variety of jobs in Seoul, you know, but I guess a lot of them are office workers who work in marketing sales, you know, investing, yeah, things like that. Did you do puzzles in your childhood? Yes, uh, when I was young, I used to enjoy jigsaw puzzles quite often. Well, it was one of my favorite things to do when I had some free time. And my family was also very keen on jigsaw puzzles, so we enjoyed them together on weekends. When do you usually do puzzles? during your trip or when you feel bored? Well, um, I don't enjoy puzzles very often nowadays, but I do it time to time when I feel bored. Um, you know, time flies by when I enjoy jigsaw puzzles. Well, um, I used to do it quite often, like more than twice a week. But nowadays, you know, I'm so busy like 24-7, so yeah, I can't enjoy it that often now. Do you like doing word puzzles or number puzzles? Which is more difficult for you? Well, personally, I prefer word puzzles over number puzzles. It's not because number puzzles are more difficult, but because word puzzles are more interesting to me. Well, um, there are various types of word puzzles that become more intriguing the more you know about them. So yeah, I like it. What do you usually do on your birthday? Well, usually I have a small birthday party. Um, it's more like a birthday dinner, actually. You know, with friends, uh, we usually hang out in the heart of downtown and we have our go-to restaurant to celebrate birthdays. Um, so their food is good and especially all the staff working there are very friendly and nice. 
So yeah, we love celebrating some occasions there. What did you do on your birthday when you're young? Well, um, when I was young, my parents always got me a birthday gift. So when I turned 12, well, at the time I was really into all the acoustic guitar songs. So my parents got me a guitar as a surprise birthday gift. Oh, and I got a bicycle on my birthday once when I was very little, um, which was one of the best birthday gifts I've ever got. Do you think it is important for you to celebrate your birthday? Well, I don't think it is very important, but it's just something that I enjoy. You know, spending time talking or you know, laughing or doing something fun with my people on my birthday is just priceless. You know, I just like to have a good time with people that I love on my birthday. Describe a person who inspired you to do something interesting. Okay, I would like to talk about my good friend Kim, who inspired me to challenge new things. Yeah, he's my inspiration. Well, I met him in middle school. It was actually the very first day of school. He sat beside me and introduced himself. And we struck up a conversation. Well, we had so many things in common, so we hit it off right away. He's been my best friend to this day. Um, he's very successful in his career. He teaches English to children for a living. Um, he started his YouTube channel aimed at kids learning English a few years ago, and it was a big success. He's got a lot of subscribers, and now he's running his own website, providing various online English courses. Yes, so he's not just a teacher, but also a successful businessman. Yeah, so he's such an inspiration. I mean, he never stops pushing himself to the next level. Um, I've seen him struggle with his work, but he didn't give up. He stayed calm and tried his best to find solutions. I really respect his strong resilience and the way he carries forward. So, yeah, because of him, I've challenged myself more often and like to try something new. I really admire him. What qualities make someone a role model? Um, there are lots of characteristics that make someone a role model, such as leadership, um, passion, and empathy, and so on. But everyone may look for different qualities. For example, my role model is a friend of mine, Kim, who I mentioned earlier. Well, he never stops pushing himself to the next level, and I've seen him struggle with his work but he didn't give up. Again, I respect his strong resilience and the way he carries forward. And these qualities made him my role model. Why should children learn from role models? Um, it's because children learn from what they see. So it's important to have a good role model. Um, for example, my nephew has a role model who is his school teacher. He is very warm-hearted and considerate, and always gives off positive energy. Well, I could see my nephew has changed quite a lot in a positive way because of him. Who can influence children more, teachers or parents? Well, obviously, both teachers and parents can have a significant impact on children because of the amount of time they spend with the kids. Well, as I said earlier, children learn from what they see, so both teachers and parents should set a good example to them. What kind of international news inspires people? Well, there is a range of international news that can inspire people, but in my view, one of the most encouraging types of news is a story of a successful figure who never gives up and, you know, overcomes problems with strength and resilience. I mean, someone who serves as an inspiration, their stories often motivate and inspire people. What do you do? Do you work or study? Well, I work. I work as an accountant. I've been doing this job for about eight years now. 
So I'm responsible for a variety of finance related tasks.、Uh, it means I do lots of paperwork and usually work long hours in front of the computer. And I like my job, which is quite rewarding. Why did you choose to do this job? Well, I guess I chose to become an accountant because, well,、um, there's no particular reason actually. This is what I studied in college. I majored in accounting. So after I graduated, I only looked for an accounting position. What do you dislike about your job?、Um, overall, I'm satisfied with my current job. But sometimes I have too much work to do, and I have to work overtime as well, which is quite overwhelming. Tell me about the first day of work or school. Well, I remember that I was quite nervous because, you know, it was my first day of work. But my boss kindly gave me a tour of the office, and he also explained how things work, and what tasks I need to do, stuff like that. So. Yeah, it went great. Do you often stay up late? Um, not very often, but sometimes I stay up late watching Netflix. Well, I'm so into cleaner documentary these days. You know, there's something that the more you know, the more it gets intriguing. I mean, it's very addictive. So because of that, I sometimes stay up late. Did you stay up late when you were a kid? Not really. I've been an early bird type of person since I was little, so the only time I stayed up late was when I stayed over at my friend's place, which happened like once or twice a year. What do you usually do when you stay up late? Well, as I said earlier, these days I'm really into criminal documentaries, so I sometimes stay up late watching them on Netflix. Um, I also like to watch K dramas sometimes, like, um, Don't Panic or The Glory, Fame, and so on. Well, I love K dramas because they're just so much fun. Um, time flies by when I watch them. What does it feel like the next morning if you stay up late? Well, obviously, I wake up tired in the morning, um, and sometimes I even feel dizzy. So I try not to stay up late, especially during the week, because you know I don't want to screw up at work. Does your name have any special meaning? Oh、uh, yes, my grandpa named it, which is based on Chinese characters. Zhang means uprightness, and Yan refers to lotus flowers. So combined, it means a person who is honest and beautiful, like a lotus flower. How would you choose names for your next generation? Well,、um, to be honest, I haven't thought about it before. Okay, let me think.、Um, I guess I would like to look for some cool names in the movies. I watch movies very often, like more than three times a week, and there are always some characters with great names. So I will pick the best one in the movies. Are there any differences between how Koreans name their children now and in the past?、Um, yes, it has changed quite a bit. In the past, like my grandpa, people used to consider the meaning of names more, but now、um, many parents think about how the name sounds. They prefer some cool, trendy names for their kids. Describe a time when you saw a lot of plastic waste. Um. Okay. Let me tell you about the time I saw a lot of plastic waste on the beach in Bali. Um. When I was twelve, I traveled abroad for the first time on a family vacation to Bali. Well, of course, I could barely contain myself since it was the very first time flying on a plane and going to the foreign country. And um, if I were to pick my favorite moment in Bali, it would be the time. We had fun on the beautiful beach. Well, I forgot the name of the beach, but I remember how picturesque it was. You know, with emerald water, golden sand, and impressive surfers riding the waves. We felt like we were in some kind of heaven, you know. But 
I mean, however, when we were on the way back to the hotel, we saw a huge pile of plastic waste on the beach. Well, we were shocked by how much was there. Um, it was probably from the tourists like us, you know, who visited this beautiful beach. Um, what a shame, I know. Well, I mean, the, the image was so overwhelming. You know, on the one side, picturesque beach with people laying in the sun. On the other side, a huge pile of waste. So after I saw that, I swear I never littered. Anyway, so that was the time I saw a lot of plastic waste on the beach. Do you think we should use plastic products? Well, in my opinion, it is inevitable to use plastic products these days. Um, although plastic products have a negative impact on the environment, they also have many benefits, such as being inexpensive, um, lightweight, and easy to shape. Therefore, um, it's kind of impossible to completely stop using all the plastic products, you know. But I strongly believe that we need to make efforts to reduce plastic uses for the sakes of the environment. How can we reduce our use of plastic? Um, there are a lot of ways to reduce the use of plastic. Firstly, we can purchase products from environmentally friendly companies that use recyclable packaging and you know, take part in initiatives that help protect the planet. Um, moreover, we can also start with small changes such as bringing our own reusable bags when grocery shopping. What kind of plastic waste are often seen in your country? Hmm, all right, um, that's an interesting question. Well, you know, I see all kinds of plastic waste here. As you know, plastic is used for so many things. But um, I guess I remember walking on the street with many pops and clubs, and I noticed uh, many plastic water bottles and uh, takeout containers littering the area. Why do people like to use plastic products? Well, I don't think people love to use plastic products. It's just that plastic products are everywhere. You know, it's inevitable to use them. Well, as I said earlier, plastic products have lots of benefits like being inexpensive and lightweight and so on. So plastic is used for so many things, including uh, single-use plastic bags, water bottles, and cups, and more. Um, but however, I know that we should be aware of their negative impact on the environment and try to reduce their use. Do you live in an apartment or a house? Um, I live in a three-bedroom apartment with my family. Well, the house is not that big, but it's the perfect size for the three of us to live comfortably in. Yeah, it's very cozy and comfy. What do you dislike about living there? Well, I'm quite satisfied with where I live. Um, but just one thing that I'm not really happy about is that it has a small kitchen. Um, not that it is that much small, but it has limited counter space, which is quite inconvenient when I'm cooking. What sort of accommodation would you most like to live in? Well, um, I would love to live in a house with a huge pool and a beautiful garden with a patio swing. Well, I love to grow lots of vegetables in my garden, such as um, tomatoes and lettuce, you know, something like that. Do you like visiting art galleries or museums? Um, well, I'm more of an art gallery person because I love going to the art gallery and, you know, appreciating artwork. So there are a lot of art types that I'm interested in, but I like modern art the most. And there is one of my favorite modern art galleries near my place. Um, it is walking distance, which is great. Which do you prefer, art galleries or museums? Um, as I said, I prefer art galleries over museums since I'm quite keen on modern art. 
Well, you know, unfortunately, these days, I just visit galleries occasionally. Um, I used to go there quite often, like more than twice a week. But nowadays, I'm very busy, like 24-7. So it's almost impossible for me to find a time to visit art galleries that often, which is a shame. When was the last time you went to an art gallery or museum? Um, the very last time that I went to the art gallery was several weeks ago. Um, I went to one of the modern art galleries with my friend Jun. Well, he likes modern art as much as I do. So we often go to exhibition together. Um, yeah, it's great that I have someone to enjoy art galleries with. What's the weather like where you live? Um, in Korea, we have four seasons. You know, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Currently, spring is just around the corner, so it's quite warm during the day, but it gets quite chilly at night. Do you prefer cold or hot weather? Um, I'm more of a summer person, so I prefer hot weather. It's just because I love going to the beach on my vacation. So when I'm laying in the sun, uh, reading a book on the beach, I don't get to think about all my worries and, you know, it really helps me to relieve my stress. So it feels like I'm in some kind of heaven. I love it. Would you like to visit other cities that have different climates from where you live? Um, of course, I would love to visit places with different climates. I like somewhere hot and has a picturesque beach with emerald water and golden sand, you know. And it would be the best if there are great surfing spots so that I can ride some waves. Describe a time when you received money as a gift. Um, okay, let me tell you about the time I got money from my parents as a birthday gift. Well, this takes place when I turned 25. My parents gave me money for my birthday because I asked for it. Well, at the time, I was really into old acoustic guitar songs, and I was dying to learn how to play guitar. So I was kind of saving some money for it. Then my parents asked me what I wanted for my birthday. Well, my dream guitar costed a fortune, so I just asked them to chip in. And thanks to my parents, I could finally get my guitar. It was just gorgeous, you know, with a dark brown body and a shiny gold head stuck. So, um, I mean, it was both unique and beautiful. Um, plus, most importantly, it sounds awesome. I loved it. Well, and since then, I practice playing guitar on a regular basis. It's definitely one of my favorite things to do when I have some spare time. And my favorite songs to play are all by the Beatles. You know, I'm a huge fan of theirs. Yesterday, Hey Jude, and so on. They're my all-time favorite songs. I mean, playing their music makes me feel so relaxed and happy. So this guitar is more than just a thing I own. It means a lot to me. Um, anyway, so that's the story when I got money as a gift. Why do people rarely use cash now? Um, there are several reasons why people rarely use cash nowadays. I'm pretty sure the main reason is that people prefer to use credit cards, which is much more convenient and secure than using cash. For example, when you use credit cards, you don't have to carry all the change in your pocket. And if the card is stolen, you can simply cancel it. When do children begin to comprehend the value of money? Um, okay, that's a tricky question to answer. Let me think. Um, all right, to be honest, I don't know exactly when children begin to understand the value of money, but I'm guessing that by age five or six, they start to comprehend the value of money. Um, this is because my nephew is five, and he recently began to understand the use of money. Um, last time, I gave him some money as an allowance, and he was so happy that he could buy his favorite toys. 
Should parents reward children with money? Um, I don't think so. Well, it is obviously depending on the parents, but I think they do not have to reward children with money all the time. They can reward their kids with something they want. Um, it really depends on the situation, though. For example, if a child behaved well and won some new bike, then the parents can reward him or her with a brand new bicycle instead of money. What do you do? Do you work or study? Um, I'm a student at the University of Toronto, and I'm doing a bachelor's degree in business management. And I'm in my second year of university now. Do you get along with your classmates or colleagues? Um, yes, I'm on a friendly terms with my classmates. I mean, I've never had any trouble with them, and I have three close friends who I go to classes with. And have lunch together. If you could study a different course, what would it be? If you could change your job, what would it be? Um, interesting question. Well, actually, I wanted to become a pilot when I was young. You know, they look so cool, and they travel all over the world. So, if I could change my program now, and somebody else is paying my tuition. Then I will study to become a pilot. Do you know many small businesses where you live? Uh, yes, definitely. All the local cafes, restaurants, and you know, small shops are small businesses. So my favorite cafes and restaurants in my neighborhood are all non-franchise, which means they are small businesses. Um, I like going there because the owners, instead of working, they are very kind and friendly. Uh, plus, they are located within walking distance. Do you prefer buying things in big companies or small businesses? Um, it really depends on what I want to buy, but um, generally speaking, I prefer buying things from small businesses. Well, as I said earlier, most of my go-to cafes and restaurants are local ones, um, so I like the cozy ambience and I appreciate the extra effort the small business owners put into their businesses. Have you ever worked in small businesses? Um, yes, I have. I used to work as a part timer at a cafe when I was a student. It was a small non-franchise cafe, and I remember the owner put extra effort into keeping it spotless. So I had to wipe the whole place all the time. Well, their restroom was even cleaner than my bedroom, but um, well, it was a good experience. Do you like the area that you are living? Um, yes, I love my neighborhood. I live in downtown, so there are a lot of cool cafes and famous restaurants, and there are always many people like tourists, couples, and locals hanging out in that area. Um, yeah, I love the hustle and bustle of this big city. What are some of the changes in that area recently? Um, well, it has changed quite a bit. Um, there are several changes, but the biggest one is that. There are lots of shopping places and digital cafes launching not too long ago, and because of them, the area got more crowded. Do you know any famous people in your area? Uh, yes, there is an actress Gina, who has just become kind of famous because of her part in the last movie. I mean, she's starting to make her name on a global stage. Well, I heard that she lives in my neighborhood, but I haven't seen her in person yet. Describe an activity you enjoyed in your free time when you're young. Um. Okay. Let me tell you about the activity I enjoyed a lot when I was young. Um. When I was a kid, I loved riding a bicycle. Well, I first began learning how to ride a bicycle when I was very little. I got a bicycle as a birthday gift. From my parents, and my dad told me how to ride. Well, at the time, I went everywhere on my cute little bike, and my family was very keen on bike riding as well. So we often went to the park, rode bicycles together. 
and had nice picnic lunches on weekends. Um, and actually, several months ago, I once again started riding a bicycle on a regular basis because you know I wanted to get back into shape. So now I try to commute by bike during the week, and on weekends I enjoy bike riding in the park. Well, I have a friend who also loves cycling, and he's the one who I usually go bike riding with. Well, I mean, cycling is great for everything. It really helps me to control weight and reduce stress and anxiety. So since I started regularly riding my bike, um, I've been feeling much more energetic and definitely less stressed. So riding a bicycle is not only something that I enjoyed when I was young, but it is also one of my favorite hobbies to do recently. Yeah, I love it so much. Is it important to have a break during work or study? Oh yes, absolutely. It's crucial to have a break during work or study because it will boost your productivity. I mean, you need a break to work better. Um, in my case, I always use the timer app to help with my studying. Um, the app allows me to set up a study time and break time. Thanks to this app. I can concentrate better and accomplish more tasks. What sports do young people like to do now? Um, young people enjoy a wide range of sports, but nowadays a lot of them are interested in outdoor sports like cycling. Well, cycling is quite a popular sport since it can easily fit into your daily routine. Well, I enjoy cycling too, and it. Really helps me to reduce stress and anxiety. Well, as I said earlier, since I started regularly riding my bike, I've been feeling much more energetic and definitely less stressed. So it makes sense that cycling is all the rage nowadays. Are there more activities for young people now than twenty years ago? Uh, yes, I do think there are more activities for young people now. You know, with the advancement of technology, people have access to more information about available activities and all kinds of lessons, so they can check out reviews of lessons or activity programs using their phones from anywhere and at any time. So overall, I reckon we have more activities for the younger generation today compared to twenty years ago. What activities do children and adults do nowadays? Um, there are a variety of activities that kids and adults enjoy nowadays, such as cycling, running, and surfing, and so on. So whenever I go to the park nearby, I can find a lot of kids and their parents working out, like running, cycling, and you know playing tennis. Well, I mean, it's a huge park offering tennis courts, bike trails, and even a place to fish. Well, I've seen people fishing with their kids there many times. Do adults and children have enough time for leisure activities nowadays? Um, yes, I do think they both have enough time for leisure activities compared to the past. For example, my nephew. Does lots of activities with his parents after school.、Um, they often go bike riding at the park or、uh, go swimming in summer. Plus, they go on a family vacation to some picturesque destinations twice a year. Let's talk about your hometown or village. Where do you live?、Um, I live in Seoul, which is the capital city of South Korea. And I grew up in Seoul, so it is my hometown as well. Well, I've been living there all my life, and、um, it is a big city, you know, which has everything from modern art galleries, great shopping places, famous restaurants, as well as huge city parks,、um, where you can enjoy picnic. What's the most interesting part of your town? Well,、um, there are plenty of interesting places and things to do in Seoul, but、um, if I have to choose one, then I would say that it has lots of cool cafes and famous restaurants that are totally worth checking out. 
Would you say it's a good place to live? Oh, yes, definitely. It's a great place to live、um, since it has everything I need and lots of things to do. It gets quite crowded, especially on weekends, but I love the hustle and bustle of this big city. Do you often wear jewelry?、Um, not very often, just occasionally. I used to wear a necklace quite often, like almost every day, but now I only wear it on special occasions. What types of jewelry do you like?、Um, again, now I'm not that into jewelry, but、um, I like wearing my necklace on special days.、Uh, my parents got me a necklace as a surprise birthday gift when I turned 20. So the necklace looks gorgeous and it means a lot to me. So I still wear it time to time. What do you think some people wear a piece of jewelry for a long time? Um, it's hard to say since everyone has different preferences, right? But I guess if someone has a jewelry that means a lot, he or she would wear it for a long time. Just like me. My necklace, which was a birthday gift from my parents, means more than just a thing I own. So I still wear it on special occasions. Do you always bring a lot of keys with you? Um... Not really, just my car key, and that's all. I have the smart lock installed on my front door, so I have no house key. Have you ever lost your keys?、Um, yes, I've lost my car key once. On that day, I got on the bus, rushing to the place where my friend and I were supposed to meet, but I left my car key on the bus. Well, I did everything I could to get my key back, but I couldn't find it and eventually had to give up. Do you often forget the keys and lock yourself out?、Um, when I was young, I often locked myself out. Then the next door neighbor,、uh, who was close to my mom, would always let me wait in her place. Well, she was very warm hearted and considerate and always gave a hand to the needy. Yeah, so we were so lucky that we had a neighbor like her. Describe an object that you think is beautiful.、Um, okay, let me tell you about my guitar, which is the most beautiful thing I've ever owned. Well, so this takes place when I turned 18. At the time, I was really into old acoustic guitar songs. So my parents got me a guitar as a surprise birthday gift. Well, I had told them that I'd been dying to learn how to play guitar. But didn't expect that they would actually give me one for my birthday. So, yeah, it was such a delightful surprise. And that guitar was gorgeous with a dark brown body and, you know, a shiny gold h e a d s t o c k It was both unique and beautiful at the same time. Plus, most importantly, it sounds awesome. I loved it. So, since then,、uh, I practice d playing guitar on a regular basis. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite things to do when I have some spare time. Well, my favorite songs to play are all by the Beatles. You know, I'm a huge fan of theirs.、Um, Yesterday, Hey Jude, and so on. You know, they're my all time favorite songs. So, playing their music makes me feel so relaxed and happy. So,、um, this guitar is more than just a thing I own,、um, it means a lot to me. So, when I received this cue card question, my guitar immediately came to mind. Do you think there are more beautiful things now than in the past? Why?、Um, well, beautiful can be defined subjectively. You know, Some people might find AI robot beautiful, and some consider nature the most beautiful thing in the world. So, it's really hard to say whether there are more beautiful things now than in the past. What beautiful scenery spots are there in your country?、Um, well, there are tons of beautiful scenery spots in Korea. There are many scenic mountains and beaches. Well, I love the beaches in Jeju Island,、uh, which you can enjoy emerald water. You know, golden sand and impressive surfers riding the waves. 
So you will feel like you're in some kind of heaven there. Where do you think people usually encounter beautiful things? Wow, that's quite an interesting question. Well, it really depends on what beautiful thing you're referring to. Again, the word beautiful is defined quite subjectively. But um, in my case, I found the nature at the park beautiful. So I go to the park near my house often. Um, it's a great place to take a walk when the weather is nice. Um, it has beautiful views of nature, um, well-managed walking trails through the trees and all kinds of flowers. Why do you think people create beautiful things? Well, um, in my personal view, creating beautiful things make people feel happy. For example, beautiful pieces of art and music make people feel delightful, you know. So in my case, as I said earlier, I love playing guitar and I found all the songs from the Beatles beautiful. So playing their music makes me feel so relaxed and happy. What kind of accommodation or housing do you live in? Um, I live in a three-bedroom apartment with my family. The house is not that big, but it's the perfect size for the three of us to live comfortably in. It's very cozy and comfy. What do you usually do in your house? Well, obviously, I do a lot of things in my house. You know, I do read a book, watch Netflix, um, cook food, and play guitar and so on. Um, I love playing guitar in my room. Uh, you know, it makes me feel so relaxed and happy. What have you done to your room to make it look nice? Well, um, I do clean up my room quite often. Other than that, when I moved to this place, I bought lots of new furniture, like a king-size bed and comfy chair for my room. So they made my room look so nice and comfortable. Do you like getting up early in the morning? Um, yes, I don't mind it. Actually, I'm an early bird type of person, so I get up pretty early in the morning, around 6 to 7 a.m. What do you usually do in the morning? Well, normally my morning is quite busy to get ready to go to work. Um, you know, I need to be at the office by night and it takes about an hour to commute by bus or a bicycle. So once I'm at the office, the first thing I always do is get my coffee and then um, I make a daily to-do list and do my job. What did you do in the morning when you're little? Uh, when I was little, um, back in the day, well, be honest, nothing special. Just getting ready for school. You know, I did what my mom told me to do. So I had no choice. You know what I mean? Are there any differences between what you do in the morning now and what you did in the past? Oh, yes. It has changed quite a bit. Uh, when I was in school, I got ready for school and my mom woke me up every day. But now I have to wake up all by myself and I get ready for work, not for school anymore. Do you like eating chocolate? Why or why not? Yes, who doesn't love chocolate? Well, you know, when I feel down, having chocolate makes me feel better. I mean, it's something that uplifts my mood. I like chocolate. Did you often eat chocolate when you were a kid? Um, well, when I was a child, I didn't eat chocolate often because my mom didn't allow me to have sweets that often. You know, um, so I only had chocolate when I got it as a gift from my uncles or aunts. Why do you think chocolate is popular around the world? Well, there are several reasons why chocolate is popular all over the world. But um, I think the main reason is that it tastes heavenly. You know, it's so sweet and has a unique addictive flavor, which I also really like. Describe a piece of good news that you heard about someone you know well. Um, okay, I would like to talk about good news that I got from my old friend, Kim. 
Well, a couple months ago, my friend Kim told me that he finally published his book, which was great news, of course. Well, he's very successful in his career. I mean, he teaches English to children for a living. He started his YouTube channel aimed at kids learning English a few years ago, and it was a big success. He's got a lot of subscribers. And now he's running his own website, providing online English courses. Yeah, he's a successful businessman who has a good problem solving and、um, communication skills. So you know, I've seen him struggle with his work, but he didn't give up, and he stayed calm and、um, tried his best to find solutions. Plus, he never stops pushing himself to the next level. A lot of his students consider him to be their role model.、Um, so I also really respect his strong resilience and the way he carries forward. He's an inspiration. So I know that publishing his own book was his dream goal. So it was such a great news for me as well. Is it good to share something on social media?、Um, well, yes. There are a lot of benefits to sharing things on social media. It's really easy to communicate with others, and more importantly, it's fun. You know, I use Instagram often. I share my thoughts and glimpses of daily life on my Instagram, and people frequently leave comments, and this can sometimes lead to discussions, which I find very enjoyable. Should the media only publish good news? Well, as far as I'm concerned, the media should publish both good news and bad news. Well, we need to be aware of both positive and negative sides. I think what's more important is that they fact check their reporting rigorously to ensure that it's accurate. Nowadays, there is too much fake news, which is a serious social problem. How does social media help people access information? Well, there are a range of ways that social media help people access information. It's really easy to search any information on social media, like Instagram or YouTube, and so on. I mean, there are a lot of sources that you can find all kinds of information. For example, I often search YouTube videos for、um, tutorials or some documentaries. And I also use Instagram to check reviews of popular places. What kind of good news do people often share in the community? Well, there are various types of good news that people like to share,、uh, and I think one of them is success stories. Many people like to hear about others who have achieved their goals. For example, my old friend Kim had an interview. With local news because he's a successful businessman, as I said earlier, he has his YouTube channel and now he's running his own website, providing online English courses. So yeah, people love to share and learn about his story. Do most people like to share good news with others? Um, as far as I'm concerned, most people enjoy sharing good news with others, because. It brings happiness, you know. Well, I like to share good news with my close friends and family so that we can feel happy together. For instance, when I was accepted into the university I wanted, I shared the news with everyone, and we even had a small celebration. It was awesome. Let's talk about your hometown. Where do you live? Is that a big city or a small place? Um, I live in Seoul, which is the capital city of South Korea, and I I grew up in Seoul, so it is my hometown as well. Well, I've been living there all my life. Um, it is a big city which has everything I need and lots of things to do. How long have you been living there? Um, as I said earlier, I've been living there all my life, so I know the city very well. Um, there are plenty of interesting places and things to do in Seoul. Um, I mean, it has lots of cool cafes and famous restaurants that are totally worth checking out. Do you like your hometown? Oh yes, definitely. It's a great place to live since it has everything I need and lots of things to do. 
Well, it gets quite crowded, especially on weekends, but I love the hustle and bustle of this big city. Is there anything that has made you feel happy lately? Um, these days, when I play my guitar, I feel happy. Well, I play guitar quite often, and it's usually on weekends because I have a hectic schedule during the week. Um, it's just so much fun, and it definitely makes me feel um, calm and relaxed. I really like it. What made you happy when you're little? When I was a child, well, I loved riding a bicycle and my family was very keen on bike riding as well. Um, so we often went to the park, rode bicycles together and had nice picnic lunches on weekends. I loved it and it absolutely made me so happy. What do you think will make you happy in the future? Um, it'll be the same as now, just a small thing like Playing my favorite songs, you know, going for a bike ride will make me happy in the future. Um, as I said, I feel good when I practice a guitar. Uh, it works like meditation for me, making me calm and focused. I feel free and relaxed. So in the future, I will still feel happy with these little things. When do you feel happy at work? Why? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Well, I feel happy most of the time at work because I'm quite satisfied with my job. Um, I know what I'm doing and I feel so comfortable doing this job. Plus, it's really rewarding. So I generally feel happy and satisfied at work. Do you do some cooking or help your family cook at home now? Uh, yes, I like cooking. There are various dishes that I love to cook, but my favorite food to cook is Italian dishes, especially pasta. Well, I'm not a good cook, to be honest, but I enjoy cooking, especially when I have some guests over at my place. Do you think your home is clean and tidy? Um, yes, I try to keep it clean as much as I can. So I do dishes, mop the floor, and wipe windows quite often. Um, I kind of like cleaning up things. You know, it makes me calm and feel great. Well, I don't get to think about all my worries when I clean up. So I really like it, actually. Did you do some house cleaning when you're young? Um, not very often, but sometimes I did some house cleaning when I was little. Did you do some house cleaning when you're young? Um, not very often, but sometimes I did some house cleaning when I was little. Well, um, we used to have a cleaning day once a month. So all my family members uh, put the house in order all together. Well, each member had their own responsibilities and I was in charge of doing the dishes. It was actually kind of fun. Describe a movie you watched recently and would like to watch again. Okay, let me tell you about a movie I watched a couple weeks ago and I would like to watch again. Well, the movie is a comedy called Don't Panic, which was so well made and hilarious. Well, my favorite actress Gina is in it. Um, actually, she used to only do independent films, but she has recently become famous because of this movie. Well, anyway, so the movie was about a girl who can see ghosts. She is beautiful, but acting so weird when she sees ghosts. And um, there is one guy who found her interesting because of her ghost problem. Soon he develops a feeling towards her and finds out that he doesn't care about her problem anymore, about her problems anymore. The story is really cute and the writer has a great sense of humor. So it constantly cracked me up. Well, so out of everything, I found her acting to be most outstanding. She gave me goosebumps many times throughout the movie. And thanks to her part in that movie, she's finally starting to make her name on the global stage. Anyway, so the movie was one of the best comedy movies I've ever watched. So I would love to watch it again. Where do people normally watch movies? Um, people usually watch movies at home or in cinemas. 
Well, since pandemic, more people have gotten used to watching movies at home. But personally, I prefer to go to the cinema to see a movie because of better sound quality and, you know, the huge screen. There is my go to cinema nearby, which is within walking distance. So I go there quite often, like once a week. What are the differences between watching movies at home and in a cinema? Well, there are a lot of differences between the two. Um, at home, we can multitask while watching a movie, such as texting, having dinner, talking, you know. However, in the cinema, we should focus on watching the movie only. Although we can enjoy popcorns and some drinks, those are the only things we are allowed to do. Are actors or actresses important to movies? Why? Um, of course, actors and actresses play significant roles to movies. Many people often watch a movie just because their favorite actors are in it. Um, I also sometimes choose a movie based on the actor's performances. Um, I enjoy the experience of being moved or getting goosebumps from watching great acting. Why are there fewer people going to the cinema to watch movies nowadays? Well, as I said earlier, since pandemic, more people have gotten used to watching movies at home. Plus, people often find it much more convenient. At home, they can do something else while watching a movie like texting, talking, and you know, having dinner or something. What kind of housing or accommodation do you live in? Um, I live in a three-bedroom apartment with my family. I've been living there for about eight years now. Well, the house is not that big, but it's the perfect size for the three of us to live comfortably in. What's the difference between where you're living now and where you have lived in the past? Well, there is not much difference between the two, except for one thing that's changed a lot, my room. Well, I bought lots of new furniture, including a king-size bed and a comfy chair. Plus, it has a large window that lets in abundant natural light. Which room does your family or you spend most of the time in? Well, I spend most of the time in my room. Um, I really like my room because, well, as I said, it has all the furniture I need and a huge window as well. So I often read a book or play guitar in my room. Have you ever learned about outer space and stars? Um, I've never learned much about outer space and stars. Well, um, I briefly learned about them in school, but I forgot everything. All I know are a few constellations and some knowledge from movies. That's all. Do you like science fiction movies? Why? Why not? Um, yes, I'm fond of science fiction movies. You know, Gravity and um, Star Wars and so on. I love sci-fi movies because, well, no particular reason. It's just something that I really enjoy. You know, time flies by when I watch it. Do you want to know more about outer space? Yes, if I have a chance, I would love to learn more about outer space. Although I know almost nothing about space now, it seems like it's something that the more you know, the more it gets intriguing. Do you like geography? Uh, yes, I would say that I'm interested in it. I mean, I like to look at maps and watch documentaries related to geography, but I don't know much about geography, to be honest, just basic knowledge. Have you ever studied geography at school? Um, I briefly learned about geography at school, but I forgot almost everything. Well, I've learned more about it from some documentaries and movies. Are you good at reading a map? Well, I'm not really good at reading maps, to be honest, but you know, nowadays, there are a lot of apps that help me find the right directions. So thanks to technology, I just need my phone to get directions. 
describe a popular place for sports that you've been to? Well, okay, let me tell you about the public park that I often go to and has lots of people doing various workouts. Um, I often go to the public park, which is within walking distance from where I live. But the park is huge, so if you go there, you can find many people working out there. Um, you know, running, cycling, and playing tennis. It's a huge park offering tennis courts, bike trails, and even a place to fish. You know, I've seen people fishing there many times. Well, moreover, it's a great place to take a walk when the weather is nice. It has beautiful views of nature, uh, well-managed walking trails through the trees and all kinds of flowers. So uh, I go bike riding in that park on weekends. Um, I have a friend who also loves cycling, and he's the one who I usually go bike riding with. Um, it's a perfect place for us to ride bicycles since it has nice long bike trails and beautiful views. I really enjoy it, which helps me to relieve my stress and feel refreshed. Anyway, so uh, when I got this cue card question, this park immediately came to mind. Do young people like to do sports? Well, it really depends on the person, you know. Some young people like to do lots of extreme sports, while others just hate doing any workouts. However, um, young people around me are quite interested in doing some sports like cycling or playing tennis. You know, I also got quite into cycling these days. It's good for health and also it is so much fun. What are the benefits of sports for children? Well, there are a number of benefits of sports for children. Um, but most importantly, it helps them to reduce stress and anxiety. So after they exercise on a regular basis, they may feel much more energetic and less stressed. Plus, obviously, doing sports is good for their physical health. Is it necessary to build public sports spaces? Well, it is generally considered necessary. It provides places for people to work out regularly, which offers a lot of benefits, such as weight control, um, reducing stress and anxiety. And there is the public park near my house, uh, you can find many people working out there. It also has beautiful views of nature, well-managed walking trails. Yeah, so, I mean, this kind of place plays an important role for residents. What do you think of companies donating sports venues for poor children? Well, in my opinion, that's a positive effort to make a better society. You know, having a place to enjoy sports will have a significant impact on children. Well, as I said earlier, if they exercise regularly, it helps them to reduce stress and anxiety. Of course, the kids will be more energetic. So um, there is no doubt that donating sports venues for children is a wonderful thing to do. Do you work or study? Um, I'm a student at the University of Toronto. I'm doing a bachelor's degree in business management and I'm in my second year of university now. Do you like your job? Do you like your course? Well, yes, I do like my course. Um, I've always been interested in business management. I mean, I get really fascinated by how successful CEOs build their companies. I want to learn more about how to manage business well. And one day, I would like to run my own business in the future. What do you dislike about your job or your course? Um, I'm quite satisfied with the program, but um, just one thing that I'm not really happy about is that we often get an unreasonable workload. Especially the leadership and management course always has too much group work. Do you write a lot? Um, I used to write a lot. I mean, I used to write movie reviews on my blog quite often, like three times a week. But nowadays, I'm so busy, like 24-7. So it's almost impossible to write reviews that often. 
What do you like to write and why? Well, as I said earlier, I like to write movie reviews because it's just fun, you know. I love watching movies and writing about them on my blog. You know, people leave comments and it can sometimes lead to discussions, which I find very enjoyable. Do you think the things you write would change? Um, I don't think so. I've always been so fond of all kinds of movies and writing about them. It's just something that I really enjoy. So I don't think things I write will change much. What snacks do you like to eat? Um, There are a variety of snacks that I enjoy. But if I have to choose one to talk about, well, it'll be chocolate. Especially I'm addicted to milk chocolate. It's so sweet and has a unique addictive flavor. I really like it. Did you often eat snacks when you're young? Well, uh, when I was a child, I didn't eat snacks often because my mom didn't allow me to have sweets that often. I only had some sweets when I got it as a gift from my uncles or aunts. Do you think it is healthy for you to eat snacks? Um, Not really. Most of snacks that I enjoy contain too much sugar or salt. You know, they are not good for health at all. And it's bad for controlling or reducing weight. Describe a person you met at a party who you enjoyed talking with. Okay, I would like to talk about Jean, who I met at a party. Um, So I went to one of my friend's birthday party a few years ago, and I met Jin there. So at the party, um, he sat beside me and introduced himself, and we struck up a conversation. Well, we had so many things in common, so we hit it up right away. Well, he's the sweetest person I know, and he's been my best friend to this day. Um, He's also very warm-hearted and considerate. I mean, he thinks of others before himself. And always gives a hand to the needy. Yeah, and he also does a lot of volunteer work. Uh, He usually volunteers to help poor children. And sometimes participates in environmental campaigns. Yes, so he strives to make the world a better place. Um, Also, he's very successful in his career. He teaches English to children for a living. He started his YouTube channel aimed at kids learning English a few years ago. And it was a big success. He's got a lot of subscribers. And now he's running his own website, providing online English courses. He's a wonderful person and also a successful leader. Uh, I'm very glad that I met my good friend Jean at the party. In what situations would people be willing to get to know new people? Um, it really depends on the situation and the person, you know, but I think most people are quite open to make friends when they are in school. Um, in school, classmates are usually around the same age and see each other almost every day, which can make them more open to socializing. Well, in my case, I also met my best friend on the first day of school. I was more open to making friends back then. Where do people go to meet new people? Um, There are a variety of places where people can meet new people, but parties and clubs are common social settings. Uh, When I was in college, I went to clubs in downtown several times and met many new people there. But I found that the atmosphere was often too loud and crowded, which was just not my thing. How do people start a conversation? Well, there are several different ways that people start a conversation. But if they have something in common, it's easier to strike up a conversation. Um, when I think of how I started conversation with my best friend, uh, we had so many things in common. So yeah, we hit it up right away. Why are some people unwilling to have conversations with others? Um, There can be a range of reasons people might be unwilling to talk to others. Um, They may be shy or having a bad day. 
Personally, I sometimes don't want to talk to anyone because I need my alone time. You know, it's great to have some time by myself to fully focus on my feelings and thoughts. Is it difficult for adults to talk with children? Um, it depends on what kind of adults you are, but I think quite often it can be challenging for adults to communicate with children because they think differently, but. That's also the reason why having conversation with kids sometimes being priceless. For me, I love talking with my younger cousin who is ten. Well, she always gives me very creative and cute answers. <laughs>